Today, a lot of money is spent on investigating diseases and the clinical wisdom, time taken to listen to the history of the illness and proper physical examination seems to be a thing of the past. Just cursory examination of your fingernails does give clues for many chronic diseases and medical conditions and just doing a few investigations to confirm your clinical diagnosis is all that would be required. This is what we are going to discuss today. Let's talk about the specks under your fingernails. Looking into your fingernails once in a while is a good health habit as it is a good health indicator that you may not be familiar with. If you observe dark spots under your nails, and if you have not banged your fingers recently, it could point out to an infection in the lining of your heart or valves. This condition is called endocarditis and valvulitis respectively. You can also get specks with diabetes and such people are two or four times more likely to have heart disease and stroke. Now let's discuss about pale and white nails. Normal color of the fingernail is pinkish due to minute capillaries with red blood in them. If you press on the nail, it blanches because the blood moves away from the capillaries. On releasing the pressure, the color comes back to the capillary return. If the capillary return is prompt, means that your heart is pumping blood efficiently. So that would be the first clue for good heart function. Though healthy nail plate is pink in color, your nail bed would be white as it grows off the nail bed. If you are anemic, you will have very pale fingernails, like as if you have been bled a lot. You need to see your doctor to do a full blood count to check what is growing up. In congestive heart failure too, the nail beds will be pale because the heart is not pumping blood efficiently due to the heart failure. Another condition you get pale fingernails is liver disease. Your palm becomes bright red and we call it liver palms. This is due to the abnormal hormonal levels in the blood. Low protein stores due to malnutrition will also give pale nails. This condition is referred to as hypoalbuminuria. In chronic kidney disease failure towards the terminal stages with loss of protein in the urine, you may get pale nails. Now let's discuss what yellow fingernails are. They are also referred to as yellow nail syndrome. When women use nail polish for a long time, the nails could turn yellow. However, yellow nails could be due to a fungal infection, internal malignancies, lymphedema, chronic bronchitis and COPD, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis and thyroid disease. What are teri nails? Nails that are entirely white, like ground glass appearance, except for a small band of pink or brown at the tip is called teri teris nails. This is seen in people with severe liver disease. What are Lindsay's nails? When nails are half white and half dark, they are called Lindsay's nails, common in chronic kidney disease undergoing hemodialysis. They are also known as half and half nails. Then we come to blue nails. This is a condition where the nail bed capillaries are not getting enough oxygen circulating in the red cells. This condition is known as cyanosis. This could be due to lung disease, heart failure, and high levels of copper in the body, bacterial infections. Now let's discuss what red streaks 
in the nail are. Red streaks or blood lines in your nails could be due to vitamin B12 deficiency. In B12 malabsorption, the red cells become big and the red streaks are most likely due to these large red cells. It is also seen in psoriasis, fungal infections and blood vessel inflammation. This is also called splinter hemorrhage. Here there is blood leakage from the small blood vessels on the nail bed. Other conditions are infectious endocarditis, injecting illegal drugs, nail psoriasis and rheumatic heart disease. Now let's talk about pitting nails. This refers to small depressions in the nail which is common in people having psoriasis. Now let's talk about thin black or reddish brown lines under your fingernails. A narrow black line that runs vertically underneath your nail could occur in many situations and is harmless or it could be a sign of a more serious health condition. The condition is caused by damaged small blood vessels underneath your nail. It does not change appearance when you apply pressure to the nail. Remedial measures to get rid of black lines are Keep your body well hydrated. Avoid junk food. Include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet. Now let's talk about ingrowing nails. The nails in this condition grow into the sides or corners of your skin. Injuries can cause it. Improper trimming such as leaving a nail spike on the end also can cause it. Now paronychia this is an infection in the tissue surrounding a fingernail. This is caused by Staphylococcus aureus infection in most situations. In this situation, your doctor will drain the abscess or remove the nail surgically or take other measures. Now let's discuss about nail clubbing. This is a deformity of the finger associated with a number of diseases, mostly heart and lungs. It can occur with joint effusions, joint pains and abnormal skin and bone growth. Then it is called hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. Now the bottom line is that diseases can brew up without early symptoms. And it is worthwhile to check on your fingernails whether there are abnormal looking changes. It is worthwhile to see your doctor for further opinion. Hope this article was useful. For now, stay safe and goodbye.